Hi everyone. Righty -o. I've got around doing the video for these soft covered journals. Um, I'll tell you the size now. They're uh, 20.3 centimeters by 15.2, which is 8 by 6. So <clears throat> I had a couple of um, vintage runners, quite long ones, so I cut them in half. And this is why I have um, two of each. So I won't go through in detail each journal, but I'll show you the covers and uh, show you the stitching, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Um, this one has um, a set, oh, I've just about forgotten what it what it's called it's satin a satin um, closure I'll just um, undo it so you can get a better look at the cover so that's attached with the wee rosette and I've machine stitched that on so on here we have um, this here this embroidery was already on the doily so I put on um, a chiffon shabby chic rose here, so that's been tacked on, it won't come off. Um, a couple of butterflies, there's one on the front here, and there's also one on the back. So they have been whip stitched on, and then I've cross stitched as well. And uh, we have uh, French knots. This is another doily I have um, put on the spine. I'll open it up this way. And I've done seed stitching all in there and cross stitching. This was a piece of snippet I put in here. And we've got French knots in there. And we have some running stitch along here as well. So this is a big border of lace I put on there and I've attached lace on the inside of the journal cover. It just drapes nicely down the front. So the, the um, signature has been sewn in with a wax cord. So this one's sort of a lime green. This one here is exactly the same, but it's a slightly darker green, the embroidery thread. And the doily is very similar, it's just a wee bit darker. I'll put those ones aside. Now these two here have um, a vintage button on the front. And um, I've used a bit of um, it's a crochet doily. It was an oblong one and I cut it up because it was falling apart. And um, I put one on the front of each with some mini yo-yos. And we have lace on this one here. Well, on both of these, I put a complete piece of um, snippet roll down the spine instead of putting another doily on there. So we have two butterflies. No, oh, sorry, the two butterflies are on the other ones. We have one butterfly. So we have some running stitch French knots and um, cross stitch. This is part of the um, doily. And this um, lace here, daisy lace, I tea dyed. Oh, the card's falling out. So I think they've turned out quite good. 
and this was the one here that I was um, finishing off because I didn't just um, start these journals a week or two ago I actually laid them all out and um, was going to make them October, end of October last year but then I realised mm, there isn't much in the shops for Christmas shopping so they, these here went on the back burner and um, I made hardcover journals as Christmas gifts. I was still finishing off two of them Christmas Eve. And then I decided, right, I better dig these out and finish them. So we'll have a look through um, one and um, I'll quickly flip through the others. So um, I have Stamperia paper, I was just thinking there, Stamperia paper for um, the cover of each signature. There's one signature in each journal. 82 pages like 82 back and front for pages and um, we have um, let me see my brain my brain's decided to go to sleep we have um, pockets and tags and everything throughout so we have a lace pocket that goes right across it's the same lace on each one this was a masterboard that I had done. I've put some snippet on it. I've sewn right round and you can journal on the back. This is flips open. There's a journal Stamperia journal card there. It's a wee tuck. I've left all the threads on. I've put some wee uh, decoration envelopes on here. These are the Tim Holtz um, Ancestor wee cards. There's a couple of wee tags in there, or tickets, and there's a journaling card at the back. Double pocket. I've embossed the doilies. Some tea dyed paper. Um, the rest of the paper in here I think is all Maggie Holmes. And these ones here, these two here, have the small journaling book inside them. Just got some wee bits of paper inside there. And we have some book page. We have a tag up here. Tucks down there. These tags keep these spaces closed but they're all journaling spaces and I've collaged on the um, book page. Straw paper. Put a wee envelope on here. It's got um, a card and a uh, wee card inside. And there's a tuck space at the back. I've done some collage on these tags. And this belly band here is a, it's got a paper backing for this snippet, whereas um, the other ones were done on calico. And we have a journaling card in there. This is some old um, school book uh, ledger paper. It's from uh, late 50s, I think, 
it is late 50s, early 60s. It's quite thick. Italian book page. Printed vellum. Oh, we've got shadows now because it's getting on towards tea time. <laughs> oh. We have, uh, this is more of the old paper. I've sewn two pages together. Sorry about the shadows, everyone. We have a page topper here. It's held on by a um, Tim Holtz mini clip. Paper clip. They're done with tea dyed paper. This is, um, I've embossed the tag. It's a um, Diane Wakeley tag. Those shadows are getting quite bad, aren't they? Because the sun's starting to go down. And some music paper. And this is um, a pocket. There's some more of the old paper there. A tag, and I've done um, a die cut. It's got um, a tag and a card in there. Some book page. Holds out. I've done some collaging on the bag there, and it's got um, some paper in it. Small book page, journaling space, and this is Florentine paper. We have um, a vintage print bag here, and I've put some wee bits and pieces in there. That's just stuck on with washi tape. It's a glassing bag, and it has some flowers and if I can get them out. And a skeleton leaf inside. I'll just put that to the side. It's a case of trying to beat the sun going down, I think. Graph paper. We have a large envelope with some more of that paper in there. And there's a card in there. A layaway tag and I've done some very light stenciling on it and an oversized playing card. Got the Tim Holtz layered um, tag space there that I've done some um, put some, <laughs> some cheesecloth. Gee, let's Get it together. And this is um, an idea I got from um, Corey uh, Darman, I think her name was. I was watching a couple of months ago. So we have a tag in the back here with some paper. We have some wee beads down the bottom here. So you flip that up and you can write on there. You've got a tuck space there, a wee tuck space there. You can write on there and you have two pockets there. Oh, just got to adjust the chair. <laughs> and I'll put some snippet up there. And this is an old, um, when you used to take note of um, who used to ring or call round. And I've backed it with paper and sewn around it. Tuck space here. And that is um, a New Zealand house and garden postcard.
and we have um, a big tag at the back here. We have a brad here on the closure. You just pull that open. We have a glassine bag here with some wee bits of ephemera in there. There's a card there. You lift this up and you can write on the back and you have some papers here also to write on. And here we are at the back and that's a large Stamperia journaling card. So they are all got the same um, layout, it's just the pages in that are different, different colours. And <laughs> my battery is going flat, so this will be quick. So that's the front page on that one, and we just have a different photo in there. Just a few bits and pieces in them that are different. Mainly the papers. These are all the same, they just have a different bread. And each picture at the back will be different. And these are the ones that have the bigger journaling book inside them. I'll just try to open them at the pages where something is a different colour. All the Florentine paper is different in each book. But the envelopes are different. And the Tim Holtz tag bits are different. And they all have a different um, house and garden postcard. bread and this one has got the bird and sunflower. I might just make it through. <laughs> this one's got the pink vintage button. And that one's, I like that, the watering key. has um, the purple envelope and yellow and oh it's 
some mustardy yellow and they all have different cards in there as well Shadows galore now, haven't we? That one's got the pearl as well. So these will be going into my Etsy shop, um, and I'll put all the links below to um, the different bits and pieces. So there we have it. I think I've managed to quickly get through there. And I hope you enjoyed the video, even with all the shadows in it. Sorry about that. So um, until next time, bye for now.